Hello and welcome to my chess game. Here, this is the full entirety of my Python chess coursework. I've decided to use Py Pycharm due to everything being stored and imported easier, like multiprocessing, import and process, import SYS, and importing Pygame. Pygame is the hardest, and using Pycharm is the easiest way to um, import everything. Here we have my chess main. I've explained everything in my coursework head to toe. So it's just a quick show of what everything is and what everything does. These 288 lines are my chess main. Here we have the game state of my board. We have the animation of my piece moving. Once again, it's easier to do on PyCharm. Just that little bit easier that I'm building on the footsteps of giants, basically. We've done most of this stuff and it's easier for me to do my course with what I want. Here is my chess engine, bring it back up to the top, so we have a board system here. Just a little mention of what the board actually is and what it does. This was quite a few lines of code, G2 means having to define everything, so we've got undo move, what is Z, or we've got castling, valid moves, valid moves is one of the most important things I had to do throughout, so everything would actually work like a proper chess game. Here I've still got some things to do. But like stalemate or repeat moves, so if the player and enemy player repeats the same move three times, it becomes checkmate. Other things I want to do is create like a menu, so they can so users can choose whether to pick different pieces, different color states of boards, and most importantly, if we can see here, I'll rerun my code quickly. As we can see in this little black box over here, it has what moves I do. As you can see there, d4, and the enemy does n c6. I want to just have a little just a, like, just a little print statement just pressing. User can press R if they want to restart game and they want and if they want they can press Z to undo a move or multiple moves. And finally I want the option to choose whether you can start as black or white because by default you're starting as white. And another thing to say that are you playing against the AI or a person. So just like a true or false statement of what I want to do. And next we have close this. Next we have, this is just me defining my moves, rook moves, knight moves, bishop moves, the, um, the pawn moves were the hardest to do, there's a lot of code involved, and there's quite a few of the castle, just because the castle can move and swap the king castling, and yeah, this is my class moves, the rows to ranks, this is very important, as it's, like the other, it's just, it was the rows, it was rows and columns that I was putting in place, but it was very important, and we got my chest notation and rank belts here, but arguably one of the most important things but mainly my AI or the smart move finder handles the AI moves I might, I'm might i still going to change names to add those more comments so this will probably be called AI moves I reckon or chess AI I'll name it chess so AI yeah I'll do that and this is basically I'm just doing that just to change up the code a little bit and I'm going to add comments throughout this whole thing but I'm just doing a video now and I'll probably do another video when it shows the entirety and I'll probably go through a bit of my coursework as well, my written coursework. This is the beta of my AI. This shows, or this makes the AI, the AI goes with the best ranking number it can in the list of possible moves. So it just goes for this, basically. The knight will do this, or the bishop will do that. Not easy, but you can, you can follow it. And this is it. That's my... Python coursework. We run the game, you can see how it works. Zoom in. My laptop. Or computer. And right, this is me playing the game. Play as hard as I can, this AI has beaten me multiple times. So I'll start. Chess engine does good things like that and it takes my move, it takes my pieces even though it doesn't have to. That did put me in check though actually, what was a quite, quite a good move. Yeah. I do know how to play the game of chess, even though it may not seem like it in these current circumstances. You can see here the highlighting of all the moves, it's quite useful. Although it may, it may penalise something, if I'm playing against another human, do I want them to know all the possible moves or do I want them to think for themselves? So that's another thing I'm adding. 
โอ้ไม่มีปะอะไรแล้วก็แบบใช่ last one in memory as if I press OK true I'll play with a friend and I'll go right cancel all highlighting but that is to come I've still got about a fair month left of my coursework so I'm feeling very confident There you go. You don't want to put me in stalemate. Perfect. Hey, on. Thank you for watching this video. This video. And yeah, yeah. It just proves that AI can work and has worked. And it's beating me. Thank you. Thank you.